After many days alone writing poems, I open the front door. A tarantula waits on the floor, unmoving. A late visitor with something to say. A lover returning from war. I listen. The trees and the wind stop their kissing, caught. Not one sound. It is the same silence as found under stones. I look. The greedy stars grip their light. The leaning mailbox gapes, swallows a dark message, waits. What will I do? Long ago I was told, your spirit animal is spider. What a dirty thing to say. Your gift will be unwanted small, a toiling weaver of nets, a builder of the invisible wall. You will wait for blood. You will create to kill, to hold all those things you love most still. Once I saw a cross in a field, a spider woven veil covered Christ's face hung to his lips like a sad silken song, like a last word, or was it a gag, a poisoned rag, a curse? Only the author knows. The natives say spider woman, spider grandmother. Once I woke, a spider on my lips. Was she dropping in sweet words as I slept? or stopping me from sharing the secrets I kept. This tarantula, I shooed it away. It jumped, wobbled into the street like a busy, hairy hand, with the spirit of a slighted friend. Why do I waste my time on you? I came a long way, she said. She paused as if she wept and stepped into the flowing dark the way the lost enter rivers. That night as I slept, a dream of spider woman woke within. I leapt from my bed to the floor. You make me jump, you jump, she said. Now late at night I open the door. I have spent all day waiting, weaving. I know what I will ask if she comes back, if she ever comes back. What I should have said before. What do you do with this loneliness?